Welcome to the lecture 2 in the R module of the course Data Science for Engineers. In the previous lecture, we have given a brief introduction about R and R studio and we have seen how to create an R file, write some codes in R file and how to execute an R file. In this lecture, we are going to show how to add comments to the R file, how to clear the environment and how to save the workspace of R. Now, let us first look at how to add comments to the R file. Before that, let us ask this question, why do you add comments to your codes? Adding comments improve the readability of your code. For example, you can explain the purpose of the code you are writing in the comments or you can explain what an algorithm is doing to accomplish the purpose which you are attempting at. Writing comments also help us to generate documentation which is external to the source code itself by documentation generators. Let us look how to add comments to a single line in R script first. You can comment a single line in R by using hash key at the start of the comment. If you see in this example, I have commented this first command by a hash key which turns this command green and if you notice these commands are describing what this program is doing. What it is doing is, it is taking a single number and then calculating a value which is 10 times of it. So, you can see here, I am defining a variable a is equal to 10 which I am commenting it out as a the input number and now I am explaining this operation which is being happened here which is b is calculated as 10 times a and if you would have remembered in the previous lecture, we have used this symbol for assigning a value to a variable. You can also use equal to in R studio that is being demonstrated here. Now, you can see how commenting makes your script file more readable. Comments can also be used to make certain lines of code in it. You can do that by inserting a hash key at the beginning of the line like here. You can see I want to comment this uh, line which says a is equal to 14. If I wish to do so, I can comment it by keeping a hash key in front of it. Now, we will see how to add comments to multiple lines at once in R. There are two ways. The first way is to select the multiple lines which you want to comment using the cursor and then use the key combination control plus shift plus c to comment or uncomment the selected lines. The other way is to use the GUI, select the lines which you want to comment by using a cursor and in the code menu, if you click on the code menu, a pop up window pops out in which we need to select comment or uncomment lines which appropriately comments or uncomment the lines which you have selected. In some cases, when you run the codes using source and source with echo, your console will become messy and it is needed to clear the console. Let us now look at how to clear the console. The console can be cleared using a shortcut key control plus L. Let us look at an example. In this code, I have defined A and calculated B and printed A comma B. When I execute this code using source with echo, all the commands will get printed here. Now, let us suppose I want to clear this console. What I have to do is, I have to click here and I have to enter the key combination control plus L. Once I do this, you can see that the console will get cleared. Remember, clearing console will not delete the variables that are there in the workspace. You can see that even though we have cleared the console, in the workspace, we still have the variables that are created earlier. Now, let us see how to clear the variables from the R environment. You can clear the variables from the R environment using rm command. When you want to clear a single variable from the R environment, you can use the rm function as shown here, rm followed by the variable you want to remove. 
if you want to delete all the variables that are there in the environment what you can do is you can use the rm with an argument list is equal to ls followed by parenthesis or you can clear all the variables in the environment using the gui in the environment history pane you see this brush button when you press this brush button it will pop up a window saying do you want to clear all the objects that are available in the environment if you say yes it will clear all the variables which is shown there and you can see the environment is empty now now let us see how to save the data from the workspace in r i have already mentioned that the information that is saved in the environment of r is temporary and it is not retained when you close the r session or restart the r studio it is sometimes needed to save the data which is already there in the current session the reason being you would have done certain operations to get the data to this form and you don't want to repeat those actions and you need to start from the point where you want to leave now in that cases you need to save the data from the r environment when you want to do that there are two ways the first one is the automatic option when you close the r studio application it will ask you look do you want to save the workspace image if you say yes it will save all the variables that are there in the workspace if you say don't save the r studio will exit and the workspace information will not be saved you can also save the workspace information using manual method where you can save the information to a file using the save command and the saved information can be reloaded for the future sessions using the load command let us see how to do that in r here is an example code the first line here shows how to save a variable that is there in the workspace into a file named ses1.r data so in the comments you can see that this is the command which you can use to save a single variable a if you are willing to save the full workspace you need to use this command save list is equal to ls with the argument all dot names is equal to true and you can give the file name whatever you wish to and the shortcut key for this command which is given here is save dot image which saves the data in the environment into dot r data file in the current working directory once you do that you can load the workspace information at later point of time whenever you want using this command load you can just specify the file is equal to the file name which you save the data into so in this lecture we have seen how to add comments to r file how to clear the console and how to clear the r objects that are there in the environment and also we have seen how to save the variables that are available in the r environment for further use in the next lecture we are going to introduce you to the basic data types of r thank you